crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for crackberry.com with the Blackberry Playbook, and now we're gonna look at the music app and seven digital music store that comes preloaded on the device. So let's start with the music app, tap that open, and it's what you'd expect. It looks clean, it's very pretty, nice, nice use of the screen real estate, and very intuitive. You know, across the top, you got all songs, artists, albums, genres, you got some active playlists there. You know, let's go into the albums. You can see nice cover work here, cover art. Uh, you know, here's a song I downloaded from the music store. With the song playing, you can see it loads up at the bottom here. You can actually go back and still browse everything. If you want to go into your artists, you want to look through all your songs. You have along the bottom now, you have your volume control. You have your shuffle, repeat, you know, play, pause, stop. You have the physical buttons to control it here, so if we want to turn down the volume, we can. We can pause it. And you also have built-in software controls from within any, within any app now. So if we jump over here to the Photos application, and we're scrolling through, and we want to say stop the song or switch tracks, we can swipe down, pull up the media off the main menu there, and then pause that song. So it's a really nicely laid out music app, and of course, you know, this was preloaded with some music for me. If you download from the 7 Digital store, your songs will appear here. But also using the desktop manager software, you can sync this back to your iTunes and move over all your music. So, let's take a look now at the music store by 7 Digital. You know, really nice clean store. I mean, the only uh, heartache I have here is I'd really love to see RIM just integrate this all into their one super system one day. So with the one BlackBerry ID, I can buy apps, I can buy music, I can buy movies. So this requires a separate, you know, credit card and account login. But once you set it up that first time, it's really easy. You can see the software uh, UI here. They've kept some very kept it consistent to App World and and you know the Playbook's kind of home screen UI. So you can scroll through. You've got uh, you know recommended apps at the bottom or recommended uh, albums, I should say, and songs. You can go into new releases. We can go into bestsellers. You can see your purchases. We can, uh, here, what should we buy? Eh, Britney Spears, it just seems wrong. Let's go to, let's go to Snoop for a documentary and let's just buy, I don't know. I don't need no biatch. Sounds brilliant, Snoop. And we'll buy that. And, <laughs> That's going to start downloading. Now, as that's downloading, you can still use the application here. Uh, but if we go into My Purchases, we will see it actually downloading. And they're pretty big files. You know, they're 7 to 9 megs, depending on the length of the song. Really high quality. Uh, so that'll keep downloading. And in a second, that's going to be in the music store. Um, you know, let's let it download. And we have Lift Off. So you can see it just appeared there. You can jump back to the whole album, and we can now go into the music store, and it should be there right away. All right, <laughs> good stuff. I think that covers it. Uh, we'll show we'll show the whole iTunes Music Sync and uh, Desktop Manager process in a different video. Plus, there's also Wi-Fi file sharing with this too. So basically you can plug it into your computer. Um, the playbook's gonna act as a drive. You'll see a music folder. You can just drop your songs onto it and you don't even have to plug into it actually. You can actually be just over Wi-Fi, not con connected to your computer and drop music on. So we'll show that in a separate video. But that's it, music and buying music on the BlackBerry playbook. Kevin out. Crackberry.com